first part of the process is that the area that we're going to make interactive is actually a little bit shorter than the dimensions of this uh, piece of glass. So I'm just going to mark this out because we're doing it from the reverse. And uh, I'm just going to do the markings here. So I can see my edge from the underneath side. Pretty straightforward processes here. Um, obviously, uh, when you're working on glass, at this stage it's uh, reasonably important to make sure that uh, you know, it's not scratched and, and what have you, because that's really going to be problematic. Okay, so uh, that's this part, and I'm just going to uh, draw some lines up and. Uh, I don't need to show you all of this part because it's pretty much all the same. And nevertheless, so I'll just draw that. So I'm just going to draw that around there uh, as well, around the um, various edges. So this next phase is uh, one of the most important preparation phases, and that is cleaning in there. So we need to absolutely make sure that um, all the fingerprints uh, that would have appeared on the glass from carrying it, um, any markings, anything that's had to be on it, if you left the glass lying flat somewhere, making sure you know no fly marks are left on it. So this is absolutely critical um, to make this perfectly clean with no dust. So obviously an environment that's um, relatively dust free, well lit, so that you can look across the edge of the uh, the surface of the glass and make sure that you've actually removed uh, fingerprints and, and, and so forth. So uh, just spend a little bit of time just getting this correct. Uh, we'll say heartache, frustration uh, later on. And to, and to do that also I would recommend that you do both sides of the glass so that you can actually see whether the fingerprint mark that might be there, whether it's on the top surface you're going to uh, treat or with its glass surface. So, uh, pretty heavy about it's looking like at the moment. Okay, so that's uh, the next phase here. That's pretty much done. So I'll spend a little bit of time now just checking this from different angles. So, Just make sure you look through a very line, low uh, line, just to ensure there's no dust and little marks or spots or tape spin on it. It's on there, so uh, I'm pretty happy about that now. Because we're not going to the very edge here, the um, making it interactive. Uh, we have a little bit of a margin in terms of handling and so forth, but uh, I guess like anything, it's um, to make everything as, as possible. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to place this uh, piece of plastic here, which has got a little bit of magic in it. And we're going to actually laminate it onto the surface here. And so uh, we're just going to prepare the surface now with a water spray. And then we'll um, actually stay and do the next stage. But so for the next part here, it pays to maybe have some uh, gloves, uh, some of these thin surgical gloves. Keep the, uh, any hand here off the foil. And because now the next part of the process is to actually remove the protective foil here. So you can see that it actually um, all comes off. So it's going to be pretty important that fingerprints are not placed now onto the clear area of the foil uh, or, or marks and so forth because now they will be seen once it's uh, placed into the area, into the visual display area. So I uh, just really want to show you at this stage here so now we would uh, remove this and the other important thing that we would do is actually 
place the, uh, the spray um, on the area that is, if you like, going to be the adhesive side. So uh, just real particular care needs to be taken. So we're going to come off there now. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that and we'll catch up with you and show you the process as we progress along a little bit further. So as you can see here now, the, the foil is actually completely removed and uh, the adhesive side of this plastic film is now completely exposed and um, paste actually have a spray of water on, on here now and it's got a mixture of soap in it and uh, that will allow us to handle things a lot easier. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to, now that we've uh, removed it off the uh, pattern, we're now going to just place it back over and uh, just provide some protection as we transfer it off to our glass sheet. So uh, that's the end here. Yeah, so now we've got a sandwich in, in the water. Okay, so uh, that's this part here, and so let's, uh, we're going to transfer it over to the other side now. Okay, and so now what we're going to do, we're going to transfer this sheet onto the back of the glass. So I swing around here. So now we're just temporarily uh, placing it in the work area that we're going to be working on. Okay, so that's uh, the next little step. So as you can see now, it's, it's just sitting here and of course now we have to be able to line up the foil plastic uh, with these marks that we um, actually had before. And because it's on the other side of the glass, these marks uh, won't actually disappear. So I'm now going to uh, get this into position and uh, line it up um, quite accurately. And as you can see, because it's sitting on a bit of water, it's quite e easy to move. And it will also be quite easy to move even when we remove the protective side on the adhesive because of that bed of water. One point to be careful on, some electronics in here, so we need to make sure that we don't fill that up with water. And if it does, it's not the end of the world. We just need to make sure it's absolutely dry before it gets powered up again. And so now what we're doing, we're halfway through removing cellophane underneath. The cellophane's actually underneath this plastic sheet so that the two sides bond immediately um, or layer up very And that way there's no risk of um, this adhesive surface actually being exposed at any time uh, to the open air.